Standing on the top now No, nothing can move you Tucker Carlson, I'm not a fan of neither one of these two people. Not a fan of Tucker Carlson. I hate it when people on the left talk about, oh, I went on Tucker Carlson show and you never really challenge Tucker Carlson. You give my idea that he can agree with, but when are you going to give my idea that he definitely ain't going to agree with you on? When are you going to push back on him? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And don't get me wrong. I like these people's show. But when you talk about I've been on this person's show, you go on this white supremacist bigot show. Are you challenging him concerning white supremacy? Well, he got the nerds that's here, here and call disgrace. Looking like somebody drunk uncle. <laughs> Chicago mayor, Laura Lightfoot. He called her a racist. I don't know, this might be old for some people, but it's so new to me. Here I am. We got a bigot called a black person. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Laura Lightfoot. She's crooked as they come. And he had the nerves to call Laura Lightfoot a freaking racist. Ain't that something? Coffee. You talking about calling the coffee kettle black? Let's watch this for a second. This is this is crazy. Equity, it turns out, is racism. It's as simple as that. Equity is racism. And to be clear, we don't mean racism in the sense that ice cream and Shakespeare and math are all now supposedly racist, or that Dr. Seuss is now considered an exalted cyclops in the Ku Klux Klan. We're not talking about the Ilhan Omar Atlantic magazine definition of racism, which, by the way, isn't actually language, but just another blunt political weapon. No. We mean racism in the literal sense, in the way that Martin Luther King defined the term. Which is now, first of all, this guy's going to sit here and try to mark what racism really is. Let me tell you something, you son of a gun. I mean, I, I, I met him one time here. Well, I'm looking for a chance to meet him again. Because I'm going to call you a racist in your face. And it's going to take me everything in my power not to smack you. He's smugging his racism. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Lori Lightfoot, but to go down this list, Dr. Seuss came out with some racist book before he decided to do all nice children book. Dr. Seuss started most of his um, literacy um, doing propaganda for the war. And a lot of it was bigot. Painting Asian people as eyeglass wearing buck tooth people when they're not. That's racist. Sitting up here painting Jewish people with big old long nose about a mile long. That is racist. Showing African people dark, um, black people is darker than dark with stuff around their neck and big old bones in their nose. All Af most African people don't even do that. Might have a select few in, in certain areas of Africa, but most of them don't do that. America, Africa is a very American, um, very enterprising nation. Always have been. Go back to this which is the act of hurting some people and helping others purely on the basis of their respective races. Bigotry, in other words, prejudice, hatred. That's what equity is. We know this thanks to Lori Lightfoot, the mayor of Chicago. Earlier today, Lightfoot released a two-page manifesto defining equity. Quote, equity and inclusion are the North Stars of this administration, Lightfoot explained. Then she got specific about it. Quote, on the occasion of the two-year anniversary of my inauguration as mayor of this great city, I will be exclusively providing one-on-one -on -one interviews with journalists of color. So in the name of equity, Lori Lightfoot is refusing to grant interviews to white people. Lightfoot took pains to... Now, let me stop here. This fool idiot. Lori Lightfoot, who very rarely gets some real reporting from black people, decided on my two-year anniversary as mayor... So I ain't been doing too hot ass. I'm going to give some interviews to some black people. And Tucker Carlson called that racist. On my two year anniversary, one day, 24 hours. She's probably going to lie out about three hours only <coughs> to talk to black news reporter. Now she got to do whatever she can to keep black people in her pocket. 
because she ain't did nothing for us either. All that power as Chicago mayor, way more power than Ron Emanuel had. She did nothing for black people. I expect Ron Emanuel not to do nothing for black people. Don't let me get on him. But Lori Lightfoot, sister, I know you like women and all that kind of stuff, but you got to remember you are black. I know you wear suits a little tighter than that. I mean, she remind me of, uh, you remember that, um, <laughs> she remind me of him. Who was that dude on, on Fred Sanford? The drunk uncle was married to Esther. <laughs> oh, what's the name? Woody? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Woody. Raymond Allen. Yeah, dude died, lived a long age. 91 years old. Well, that's who Laura Lightfoot remind me of. Every time I see Laura Lightfoot, she remind me of Woodrow. <laughs> but back to this. Tucker actually going to call her a racist because for one day only, she wants to connect with her people to try to get that black vote. I know I didn't do nothing for you, but give me another two more years. To explain, she doesn't mean that personally. In fact, she conceded that some of the white reporters who cover City Hall in Chicago are talented and hardworking. But unfortunately, they are, Lightfoot said, quote, white nonetheless. So there it is. Man, don't de let me defend Lori Lightfoot. Basically, Lori Lightfoot was saying this. I don't like defending her. Tucker, I interview smart, intelligent, white news reporters all day, every day. That's who I mostly play K2. I don't give black reporters nowhere near the amount of time that I give the white-led news media, corporate media. I don't even get black people who work with corporate media the time that I get with white people or Asian people or Latino people the time. So for one day only, just like a 24-hour sale, white sale, whatever, 50% off, I'm talking to just my people. And you got the nerve to call that racist. As plainly as anyone has ever said it out loud, white people are disqualified because they are white, not because of anything they have done or said or think. Lori Lightfoot doesn't care about that. She says so. Lightfoot is not interested in what these white people might be like as individuals, as people. She doesn't even care what kind of white they are. Their ancestors. This mo. You can have so much intelligence that you're clueless. You're dumb. Tucker, if you were a real investigator before you even put this story up, you would have did some kind of investigation and you would have found that she even talked to people from your news media. White. And for you to sit there and say this makes you look like the idiot that you are. I'm telling you, my day gonna come when I'm gonna I'm gonna see you eyeball to eyeball, and you gonna get it. You gonna get it. Might not get a fist in your jaw. You might not get kicked in the balls, but you gonna get some words from me, and we can go back and forth. I ain't got nothing to say but call you a racist bigot. Now, I'm no fan of Lightfoot. But Lightfoot need to take time out and spend with people in her community to understand the needs of the people of the community and start doing right by her community because it's her community that put her in office, not these white reporters. But yet she give most of the time of the day to white reporters and she should. Because she's a mayor of Chicago. And you can sit there and say something stupid like Obama and say, look here, uh, I know black people, but I'm, I'm, I'm not just black. I'm, 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 I'm America's people. I'm America's president. I'm, I'm the president of all people. But brother, I give you no excuse from you not take time out to do whatever you need to do to answer the needs of the people who put your butt in the office twice. Tucker Carlson could be from Italy or Luxembourg or Finland or Spain. They could be members of the British royal family. They could be penniless Romanian immigrants living in a box on the sidewalk on Michigan Avenue. Rich or poor, it doesn't matter to Lori Lightfoot. To Lori Lightfoot, all 
You see how he paying this and just going way left field, going all the way back from left field behind the umpire and going to left field again. This dude don't know what the heck he's talking about. Yeah, this guy's the number one rated since, uh, what's his name, left? He got the number one rated show on Fox News, but he don't know what the heck he's talking about. All that matters is the fact they're white because all white people are the same. They are entirely defined by the color of their skin. You can see how this makes life a little easier for Lori Lightfoot. She knows who to hate just by looking at them. If someday the Chicago police round up the entire population Kinda of the like city, you, bro. Lori Lightfoot would have Kinda no like trouble you. pulling the right ones out of line for punishment. By the way, in case you're wondering, yes, that was a Nazi reference. It was deserved. Lori Lightfoot is a well, monster. you should know. Any society that allows politicians to talk like this has a very ugly future ahead. Very ugly. But of course, no one said much at all about what Lori Lightfoot said in her manifesto. Even Chicago reporters, some of whom could now he's calling this a manifesto. The drunk Uncle Woody looking, gosh, she looked like Uncle Woody. She looked like Cat Williams at 75 years old. <laughs> I'm not a fan of her. I mean, she's my sister no matter what. Or she thinks she's my brother, whatever. Sister, brother, whatever. <laughs> the bottom line is, this is not what she was talking about, Tucker Carlson, but you're going to shape it and make it something that's totally not what she's talking about, you racist bigot. No longer do their jobs purely because of how they were born, offered only tepid complaints. Listen to this person from NBC. Another reporter called and said, hey, I'm hearing they're only talking to black or brown journalists. And I said, what? I, I, it just didn't even sound real. And so I reached out to the communications director, Kate Lefferge, and she texted me back and said, yeah, that's that's true. She said, uh, no, white reporters have. Now, look, before we go on, before I end this one, Mayor Lightfoot will only do interviews with black or brown journalists. My problem is Mayor Lightfoot need to be talk, taking one day and strictly talking to the black community, the people who put her in office. Now, if, if the Latino community put her in the office way above the black people, especially close to the numbers that black people put in office, she need to talk to them, too. You're supposed to take time out and spend super quality time and open your ears super big and your heart super big. And listen to the people who put you in the office. If black people weren't buying you, you ain't, you ain't, got, you ain't got no reason to give them no a time of day like Tim Scott. I ain't nobody, ain't black people ain't buying Tim Scott. More white people buying Tim Scott than anything. So Tim Scott ain't going to take time out to listen to us. But black people show, put um, James Clyburn in office. So James Clyburn need to sit his behind down and listen to what black people say. But no, he wants to, I want to tell you. I won't tell you what, what's going to go down. You don't tell me. I'm James Clyburn. I'm the man. Shut up. Don't make me have you at the bottom of the river with a brick on your toe. It carrying this thing too far, folks. Been uh, in the room for the majority of the year, and it's time to hear from other people. What? Can this be real? What you just heard was conf Laura Lightfoot did not say for majority of the year. She said on her anniversary. On her anniversary. Oh boy. Confusion, but not outrage. And yet there's nothing confusing about who Lori Lightfoot is. Lori Lightfoot is a dangerous bigot. Lori Lightfoot <laughs> is hurting other people because of their race. <laughs> this mug, <laughs> Tucker Carlson, the biggest bigot on TV right now. He's a more bigot bigot than Alex Jones. At least Alex Jones had the guts to have uh, Louis Farrakhan on. And, and, and look, Alex, say what you want about Alex Jones, nut wing and stuff like that. I think that was his stick to get people to tune into him. And it worked and it got, and made him a controversial figure in history. Everybody know Alex Jones. But at least the man took time out to sit there and listen to Louis Farrakhan and understand Louis Farrakhan. And him and Louis Farrakhan had, had a dialogue. This fool ain't going to never have Louis Farrakhan on his show. 
because he probably think Louis Farrakhan is a bigot and a racist and all that. Just because a person loves their people doesn't mean he don't love other people too. Farrakhan uh, oftentimes talk about his love for people in general. He just don't have no love for people trying to take advantage of his people. His bigot fool got the nerves to call somebody racist. A racist call a racist a racist. <laughs> That's the crime. But of course, it's the one thing nobody wants to say out loud. Here's the response from a reporter at the Chicago Tribune. Quote, I'm a Latino reporter whose interview request was granted for today. However, I asked the mayor's office to lift its condition on others. And when they said no, we respectfully canceled. Politicians don't get to choose who covers them. End quote. Talk about missing the point completely. And by the way, of course, politicians can choose who they talk to. All of us have that right. Thank God. What politicians cannot do under any circumstances is an attack. Now, let me say this for a second. Politicians don't get to choose who they talk to. <clears throat> I would say politicians have an obligation to talk to the people who got them that position. Obligated. They don't get to pick and choose. That's a mandate. Donald Trump, his boy, <clears throat> oftentimes tell people, I'm not talking to you, you're an idiot, next person. I'm not talking to you, you're an idiot, next person. And he oftentimes blocked them from coming into the spin room. So what is that person talking about? Politicians pick and choose who they talk to all the freaking time, always have, always did. Say nothing new. That's why you got to catch them on the go. You got to catch them coming out. Put the heat on them. Attack an entire group of citizens on the basis of their skin color. Again, to restate the obvious, that is racism. It is immoral. It is also illegal under countless state and federal laws. We are not supposed to allow behavior like that from our government. We are all equal in the eyes of the law. We are all citizens. We've got an entire granite monument on the National Mall in Washington promising that we will never behave that way again. We will never allow it. But because we've embraced equity, we're not simply allowing it, we are encouraging it. I go to McDonald's and get a big bitch because you a bitch. Bitch. <clears throat> you got the biggest media bigot on air calling To me, a not so hot, not so smart, lunatic, lunatic mayor, a bigot. She decides that she wants to start giving more time to black media. Now, it's not really truly black media. It's actually black people that's work for, working for corporate media. So why are you crying, Tucker Carlson? Are you, do you want to interview with Lori Lightfoot? Have you invited her to your show? No, you don't invite people to your show <clears throat> unless they agree. You agree with them on something and you have them on the show to talk about what you agree with. Or you figure you can bulldoze them while they're on the air and cut them off in the middle of their speech like you did the police who told you that George Floyd was murdered. It was murder, murder, and they need to go to jail. Tucker Carlson is one of the biggest Lame excuses for a media person. Anybody sitting up there going on the show and kissing his behind and, and linking up with him and getting all proud because they went on the Tucker Carlson. So, man, you need your behind whooped. He's no friend of mine. He's no friend of my people. He is what he claims Lori Lightfoot is. Tucker Carlson, the bigot called Lori Lightfoot a bigot. Well, I guess it takes one to know one.